Yo, yo, we are back in our FX. And in today's video, I'll be showing you how to create this match code transition right here. So I'm gonna just get into After FX and show you how to do this. So in my timeline, you can see I have these two clips right here. It is saw by Spooky, so big shout out to my guy for letting me use this footage right here. But firstly, to start off, what you gotta do is go over to your actual music video right here and go through the music video and take some like good snapshot. So, so something like this off his head. And all you gotta do to like save frame is control alt s and it will bring this up and you can go into here hit save and in photoshop just set it to jpeg right here and then you can render this out so render it out so doing that i got like around like five or six frames right here ready to go so do that firstly but after you have around like six images of your like subject go back into your first comp and right here i'm gonna slide my second foot is backwards so we have the space to add some images right here now then just open up your file explorer select all of it and just drag it into your project panel and firstly i'm gonna drag on the first image right here trim it to one frame if you don't know how to trim it use the bracket key on your keyboard to trim it then i'm gonna bring up the second frame trim it to one frame as well bring up the another one right here right here trim it another one trimming it right here and another one of course and lastly here we go the last one now after you have it all stacked up just make a staircase like this so it goes like that you can make it a little slower if you want like selecting all of these and making it into two frames and just like making a staircase again so real quick like that so it's not as fast as it before but now to match frames all you gotta do is go into this drop down and enable the proportional grid right here and it will bring up this grid and just like adjust your like subject according to the grid so make sure the nose is on the front on this line right here and maybe even rotate these and just just make sure these eyes are all along the line you can do it from the middle line but i like to do it from the top one so right here and then you can go into your second frame bring up the scale and just slide it down and do the same thing rotate it and make sure it is centered up now if i go into my first frame to the second frame you can see it already looks like it is like matching up so do the same thing with all of these frames right here and here we go the last one and rotate this and adjust it right here as well now after you've done all of your frame you can see we have the effect already going on a little bit but we'll of course adding a lot of effects into this to make it look cool so firstly i like to pre-comp all of these by right clicking and hitting pre-comp right here and just hit ok and then firstly i like to add like an rsmb in here and firstly right here i like to add something like an optic compensation bring it up a little bit so we have the edges like bending then after that you can add like a rsmb but for the rsmb i like to lower down the amount to 0 0.20 or something and bring up the sensitivity but maybe lower down the amount a little bit more then lastly you can add like a hue and saturation and then add like a curves to go with it and to go with this i like to add something like a warp chroma from sapphire as well and put the anchor point onto our character faces and bring it up and bring up the steps as well maybe lower down the blur just a little bit more so we have a little bit of chroma going on there and lastly you can add something like a, a radial blur in here with the face centered up so something right there you can set it to zoom or either if you like you can set it to of course what you can say like the spin but i think zoom looks cool right here also well if you want to go a step further you can go into the pre-comp make a new null object right here select all of your images link it to the null object make sure the anchor point on the character face and hit the stopwatch in the scale scale it out a little bit at the first frame so it like goes in right there then you can turn on the motion blur in there and maybe in here i'm gonna bring up the radial blur a little bit more and now if you play through you can see we have this super smooth effect going on or uh, maybe just to add something to it i'm gonna add like a flicker with the value cranked up and yeah, that looks super dope with it now where it goes into our like second clip i'm gonna make an adjustment layer right here and go to my animation presets user presets and in essential effects i'm gonna add the asim best wiggle right here and just trim it at the beginning 
so we have this cool wiggle which easily transitions into our second footage if you don't know what i did right here is i basically use my preset pack called essential fx to add a transition so it comes with a lot of fx and transition for music videos like this so if you want to check it out i'll link it in the description it's super super cool maybe at the first transition as well you can add like an adjustment layer or something like a hotspot in here and just align the keyframe and i'm gonna just like make it so it like happens real quick maybe something right there now if you play through you can see we have a super smooth dark transition right here as well but yeah all together our final effect looks something like this so yeah that's it for today's video guys if you like this video please consider hitting the like button and also subscribe to my channel to lock in because i'm actually uploading daily this month of may so just don't miss out on all the sauce but yeah i'm gonna see you on the next one peace